In February this year, sisters Zohre and Azar Kabiri from the town of Shehriyar in Tehran province were charged with adultery. They will be sentenced to death by stoning. The verdict comes six months after each sister had already carried out a sentence of 99 lashes for the same crime. In this year's report, Amnesty International and other human rights groups have demanded an end to execution in Iran, particularly stoning. The Iranian law stipulates that the rock must be big enough to inflict an injury, but uh, not big enough where that the actual stone causes uh, fatality. The very act of taking rocks and throwing it at an individual is um, is a form of, one, one might even argue, mild torture. Eleven people in Iran, currently on adultery charges, await their death sentence by stoning, nine of whom are women. In, in a lot of these societies that are highly patriarchal, you have instances in which, you know, husbands will, you know, because they suspect their wife of, of doing something that they deem um, inappropriate, they'll report that their wife committed adultery. In a society where women already don't have many rights and when you have you know, husbands or, or men making these allegations, women have very little recourse to sort of respond to those allegations. Zuhri's husband accused both sisters of having illegal relationships with men in February of 2007. The judge saw a video of them in the company of a man, but there was no evidence of any sexual act. Without the presence of a defense attorney, each sister was interrogated and sentenced to 99 lashes. Six months later, after they had carried out that sentence, additional accusations by the husband put them on a second trial on adultery charges for married women. They were convicted, but this time the method of execution is stoning. Amnesty and other human rights groups consider this practice, particularly in the case of those sisters, a violation of the International Convention of Civil and Political Rights, to which Iran is a signatory. Within Islamic law, uh, for a person to accuse another person of adultery, they need to have uh, sorry, two male witnesses or four female witnesses, but they must have actually um, witnessed the act of penetration. This case is particularly interesting because it really sort of shows how the Iranian government is willing to use even the flimsiest of evidence to um, you know, accuse somebody of adultery. Both sisters now await their death sentence with the approval of the Supreme Court. Their lawyer has tried to stop their stoning with the intervention of the country's highest judicial official, Ayatollah Shahrudi. But even he, who banned stoning in 2002, still cannot stop this order.